Greg Tavon here, looking forward to our next video. Uh, 30 years experience playing guitar, and I want to share with you some of the best techniques I've learned, best ways to learn on guitar, and uh, this is sort of my first video for you on how to start doing some expansion of your chords. Uh, if you have ever thought about playing jazz guitar, uh, this is sort of the start for that. So looking forward to playing some chords for you. Going, how do we start? Where do I start? Let me start by telling you a story when I was a teenager, uh, playing so many chords all the time, playing just open chords back and forth, back and forth. My friends and I, we had sort of a, a, a game going on to, to better ourselves, and we said, okay, every week we'll come in and we'll try and learn a new chord. And uh, uh, we went back and forth, and one of the groundbreaking things that I learned to get me off playing just basic chords or playing. Um, uh, some people play with a capo uh, just so they can transpose but one of the best things I ever did was just learning some chords uh, simple chords for, for example from G to A minor so getting bored with the G and the A minor and I discovered the G6 chord and the G major 7 chord and, and, and those could be played like this G major 7 G6 and I'll have all these on my uh, YouTube page and my Patreon page, but I'm going to show you just now um, one chord I'd like you to try. So instead of playing the G chord on some of the music, and again, this is not going to work for every song, but if you're just playing G chords and you're just dabbling into some of the jazz pieces, or you just want to make your song a little more interesting, one chord I want you to try is the G major 7 chord, and there's lots of voicings for it, but the chord that I found most successful is this chord here, first finger, sixth string, third fret. Second finger, second fret, uh, second string, third fret, fourth finger, fourth fret on the third string, and third finger, fourth string, fourth fret. Now the fifth string is dead, and the first string is dead. So it's. So moving from a G. Instead of playing the G, try the G major 7 chord. Then I want you to practice moving to a G6 chord. So what we're doing is we're going to drop this note down two frets. So from here. Lift up your first finger, move it back to the fourth. Your second finger goes over, your third finger comes back to the second string, and that's a G major six chord, or G six chord. Fifth string dead, first string dead. And this is one of those songs I want you to try and just practice just moving your hand with those two chords. So you're gonna start off slowly, you'll have trouble just getting your fingers on. Make sure the fifth string's dead, first string's dead. Then you're going to move to the G6, and as I said before, some of you are going to go, oh, my fingers just won't do that, but this is a combination of just getting the dexterity in your fingers moving, and don't give up, because you're going to love this chord once you do it, trust me. G6 chord. So you're going to start from the beginning, just practice going. show, grab your guitar and just practice going back and forth with this. Making sure that every note sounds good. So your learning goal for this part of the video is just to substitute the G chord in a song and try and play G major 7 to G6 back and forth. So I want you to try that right now. Try it for a few minutes and then click back on and I want you to come to the next chord we're going to do. So. Two minutes have gone by, you could have put me on pause, tried that chord, I'm gonna continue. Next one is the A minor. So, again, going from G. A minor. So we wanna do something with A minor. A minor, and we wanna do something other than just play a power chord. Because I, I assume you already know the G bar chord. want to kind of try something new. So the A minor chord I want you to try is actually called an A minor 7th chord. And it's at the 5th 
fret. Second finger goes on the sixth string. Fifth string is dead, and you bar the second, third, and fourth strings. And the first string is dead, so you get the sound. So try some rhythms with it. Notice that I'm relaxing my fingers. is going from this chord, which is an A minor 7th chord, to an A minor 6th. So we're going to drop this note, one fret, and I'm going to be going like this. My third finger comes back to the second and third strings, and my first finger touches the fourth string on the uh, fourth fret, which is an F sharp. So it's going to be like this, A minor 7. training too. I want you to hear that note when you're playing the chord. So you should hear the 6 uh, moving up to the 7th and back down to the 6th. Then they go back to the G major 7 chord. And you should hear that note going down again, the F sharp to the E. So you can put it together and I want you to practice those four chords for the next part. Again, if you're learning, please stop the video or pause it and practice what I just showed you until you feel pretty good about it. And don't continue until you've learned those two because it just gets more complicated and then your brain stops and you stop learning. And that's the key to this is small steps. So if you have to come back to the video, you can do that. So I'm going to go from the beginning with G major 7, G 6 chord to A minor 7, A minor 6. So it's going to be like this. practicing by yourself when you play chords it's all about conservation of energy so do not press your fingers dip hard on the chord some people I've seen them when they play bar chords or this chord A minor 7 they're pushing really hard your hand gets tired if your hand gets tired after 20 30 seconds that means you're using too much technique uh, too much pressure and you want to make your technique a little bit better so when I play these I'm hardly pressing I'm just getting enough sound that it's good. So I can just touch the notes and pull off. You get nice short staccato sounds when you want. So you can even practice that as a bit of an exercise go. So you can practice that like this. Next little thing you can try if you want is to try to emphasize the bass notes. You want, might want to go like this. going slowly and adding a little bit to the progression. Okay, so just to recap, awesome chords that, uh, again, 
I started off with these very these four chords, just getting started to move away from just basic power chords and um, and doing chords that are just basically an open open position or your your basic chords and move to these pieces. So I want you to practice those. Take your time. And again, don't get discouraged from this move here, because you can keep practicing so you can go maybe two beats in a song to go. It's okay if you go. In fact, if you've never done this before, that's probably still too fast. So just in closing, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, gregtobone.com. I'm going to take this chord progression further um, in another video, so we'll be practicing. You can do it faster. That's going to be the next video. So thanks for watching, and uh, please tell your friends, anyone who learns about guitar, we're going to be starting from scratch moving forward, and I'm going to have tips for even advanced guitar players. Uh, to help you with your learning. So this is me sharing with you. Please join my community. Glad to see you back and uh, keep watching. Thanks.